boy toys. Okay, so we got all four walls set now. And uh, then what we do is we, we kind of square the enclosure so that it's square. Then we put the, uh, uh, the roof, the rotating roofs on. And there's a control panel. And uh, you can see the gearboxes and the mechanisms that uh, operate the roof sections, the clamshells. Okay, so far so good. Okay, so I know you guys want to do this, because I do. <laughs> I wanted to see what it looks like up here. Oh yeah. Cool. I want to put my camera on the roof of this thing, but... So my motto is, better to ask for forgiveness than permission. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Well, I had to come in and use the bathroom in here a little while ago, and I, I thought I smelled some machinery. And I think I did. Let's see what we got. This looks like their little shop. This is this one little shop that that services uh, uh, this particular experiment here. Keep this place clean and orderly. What is what's in here? Oh dear. Oh, that this doesn't look very interesting. Computer stuff. Drill press. Little mill drill there. What we got in here? This looks like uh, electronics and stuff. So this is pretty typical of uh, scientists. Um, a lot of their stuff looks like that. Okay, so they got lots of cables, lots of signal cables, little instrumentation stuff that they got to connect to computers. Yada yada yada. Um, tons of manuals. Everything's got a manual, right? Okay. Words to live by, right? Uh oh. So, okay, so you know these guys are serious nerds here. 
That's Scotty. <laughs> Pretty good. Okay, this is, looks power and stuff. Okay, pretty cool. Really? Yeah. This is a guy who's messing that up for you. <laughs> Had a key in there and it's all kinds of stuff. Wow. All kinds of stuff. This vacuum. I needed your help. <laughs> that battery getting weak. Oh, that first one was. Did it get to a point where it get kind of effortless for it? Okay, so we're up at the summit here. This is a 6.8 meter scope building. So this entire building is on a bearing and it rotates. Here's the view from up here, Arizona, and then that direction is Mexico. Somebody's coming up, they're gonna give us a tour of the inside of this and I'll uh, get to see all the goodies. The mirror is covered right now. There's a secondary. That's a good place to keep a ladder. Yeah. Hey. So this is this is the actual new structure in the mountain. So everything from this wall over. Oh, so that used to be outside, huh? Uh, so it's called the IRF the Instrument Repair Facility. So um, if need be, the instruments can come out here. You know, we've got full cranes and space to work on them. Heated. Yeah. Heated. Yeah. <laughs> and this gets changed a lot. There's there we the go. The smell the grease. Yeah, I love. Oh, yeah, this looks a standard deal. 
Yeah. Hey, how you doing? All right. Hi, how are you? Oh, Rotex, little Bridgeport. Yeah. Oh yeah, nice. right at home here. Yeah. Afraid I'd be hanging out in here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, this is good for cloudy nights. Yeah. Ooh, nice this sander. <laughs> nice quiet compressor. Yeah, they can go and pump up, yeah. Very cool. Huh. Interesting guards. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Net at work. Now you folks are in the entry portal. Well, these are just very high standards from the construction back in the early 1960s. But the Air Force considered this area where you're standing solid. So in case of a nearby nuclear explosion, in all probability this will collapse on itself. Behind these closed and locked glass lock door come an operation of those doors are always kept closed and locked. We have a hard area. Almost four foot thick concrete walls here. Some places as high as eight feet thick. High degree of construction. Three guards. Size of handrails. Well, I found something I thought you guys would like. <laughs> I think you're gonna like this. We had lunch in here. We found let's see if we turn the light on. So, oh, this is cool. Um, it has uh, uh, red lights for uh, nighttime use for when they're doing observations. Two kinds of lights in here. We were looking around in here. We found a switch. We don't quite understand what it's for. But it's got a label on it. Nothing happens. Piece of junk. So... I guess I gotta find the instructions.